Hey everybody, it's like a must. I must record my video three times or it just isn't going to work. It better upload because this is my third time and actually YouTube is letting me do it. Um, YouTube is actually letting me use the webcam upload again. Normally when I try and I decide I need... Jesse, if you're going to continue to be that loud, you need to turn it off. Then be quiet. Um, normally when I try to use the webcam after I mess up or something, it won't let me. Jesse. Jesse. He's playing video games, which is like, the, I don't know. He gets really loud, or he gets really upset and loud that he's not playing it. So he he does have a limit, and he just started, but he's already really loud and obnoxious. But turning it off right now would make it worse. Both kids are up right now. So they might be arguing over her turning the TV off or something. Or she might decide to join me. Okay. I'm like already a minute in and I haven't mentioned anything important. I am 17 weeks. Last week I had an appointment. Um, yeah. Uh, it was normal, um, they like you to bring in like a thing on what you're eating and I took in like three weeks worth of meal charts and as always they were not happy with how much green stuff I was eating, but she was, this midwife was actually not happy with about anything exactly I was eating. And, um, so she really got down to, like, the, the base of the problem. Um, yeah, my brain quit working again. Um, like, being home alone all day, I don't eat. Like, when I go to the kitchen, she follows me and starts screaming. So, like, getting her something priority and then it's just irritating she screams the whole time I'm in the kitchen so I really don't go in there so I haven't been eating that well and my son when he's home the only thing the only thing you can turn it off or stop screaming and you don't tell me that. This is not going well. Uh, yeah, it, so she got down to the bottom of the problem. Being home alone with kids that don't eat or eat whatever they find. Her. Um, she eats anything and everything and screams if you're in the kitchen for more than a few seconds you should be getting her something to eat and even after you give her something if you're trying to make something for yourself she just continues like everything in there should be for her and my son doesn't eat anything but peanut butter and jelly uh so she my husband went with me to the appointment and she suggested he help me throw some meals together at night as like a like a a time to spend together and he was really looking forward to it at the time but he hasn't done anything um he did offer to run to trader joe's and pick me up a salad which was really frustrating i was like um i have salad stuff in the fridge the problem is getting it on a plate without somebody screaming and pulling on your leg um yeah, so I'm working on that on my own, trying to eat better. Yes, real cute. 
um, trying to eat better on my own since he's not helping. It's not going great, but I'm doing a little better some days. I'm still having problems taking my prenatal pills. I know I mentioned I bought some new ones and they weren't bothering me, but the first couple of days I took them, I took them at night so I didn't take them the next morning and then I would forget them. And so it was like every other day and it wasn't bothering me. But when I started taking them every day, I started getting headaches again. The midwife isn't thrilled with the brand I chose, but I know it's a, the brand that doesn't upset my stomach. <laughs> oh, you quit. Okay. And um, she said it's probably not the prenatal pills. It's probably that I'm not eating well and you're not drinking that well. Um, but I am doing better. I did just have a green smoothie and it was green. That's the first time I'm, I've, not the first time I've made green smoothies, but the first time it actually came out green. <laughs> I like to add so much fruit that it's a different color, but I don't have any blueberries, which is one of my, my symptoms, I had my first like emotional breakdown the other day because I bought blueberries and my husband decided that he and my daughter were going to eat them all for breakfast or something like that. They ate a whole thing of blueberries, just the two of them. And I was like, um, I bought those to either share or for me. Um, so yeah, that was one of my, I, like, finally having symptoms, which actually some of them, I wrote down the symptoms I do have this time, and I've been having them. It's just, they're so, I'm so used to them, they don't bother me at all, they, and they don't scream, you're pregnant. I still don't really feel that pregnant. Um, so yeah, other than that, I have been tired and um, have low stretching cramps, which sometimes they're pretty bad and they bother me, but since I know I'm pregnant, I know that's exactly what it is. You can't move everything. I need this right here. Um, and having to pee, oh, like, emergency have to pee. And not it's not all the time, but sometimes it just gets ridiculous, and I have to go, like, several times in an hour, and it's like, you have to go now, or you're gonna explode. Um, one of the things I really love about that is when I'm laying in bed, and I have to pee, and it, like, my bladder like pushes my uterus up and it's like hard all over and you can, you can really feel it. <laughs> I love that feeling. <laughs> the other day I like showed my husband that it really, you know, that it's growing. And um, he was like, yeah, there's something definitely in there. <laughs> um, another thing that happened at my appointment is like she pointed out where my uterus was, which um, it's kind of nice to hear because I've, for I've forgotten how far along I am. I have to look up every time before I make a video, like how far along I am. Um, so the other day, no, please don't do that. Um, the other day, uh, it was, I guess a couple weeks ago, I, I felt like a tap and I, I was like, yay, I finally felt movement again. I know that everything in there is going okay. I haven't felt it since. And, but, you know, I know it's still small and got lots of room between the side of me. I do not need my own. You don't need anything here. I'm being led to have those. Um. So when she pointed out like the time, it was, it was, 
really nice to know because I felt that in the back of my mind I was like maybe that's too high and it's not maybe it's maybe it's gas but when she pointed out like this is the top of your uterus it was like right in line with where I had felt that tap now like oh good it, it really was a tap um haven't really been having any cravings and I'm working on eating better food um, a couple times, uh, when I was sitting, don't shove that so far in your mouth then. Don't choke yourself. That's gross. Um, when I'm sitting, I'm very uncomfortable. I can't really get comfortable. I don't know what that problem is. I feel like my butt is shrinking or something. I don't have as much cushion. And earlier today, um, Earlier today, my my butt actually went numb. Are you looking at yourself? Say hi, baby. I'm oh, so cute. Yeah. Um. I think that's it. I'll do my belly shot. Oh. This is the shirt. Um, I took a picture of myself in on Sunday, April 1st, and posted it to my Facebook wall. That's my, my Facebook official. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to do anything else on my personal Facebook wall about the baby. I'll just keep doing that on my um, YouTube Facebook. There's a little bump there. My pants are funky. I don't know why. Yeah. Up here, above my belly button, it's all my guts pushing out. So here's baby. But at least it's starting to look kind of sh baby shape. Not just that chick got fat. Um, I haven't gained any weight. Um, like I, it took me till. January 8th, I think, to get my um, first positive pregnancy test. And so I had, I had um, Christmas weight that I had gained. And then I dropped back down to what I was before Christmas. And I've gained back up to what I was when I got home from Christmas at my grandma's. And I've been there for several weeks. Um, my belly is obviously growing. My, I can feel it. I can feel my uterus at night when I have to pee. And I felt taps. So I know things are going okay. I'm working on eating better for the baby. And going to try and take my prenatal pills. Uh, I don't know. I think that's it. Sorry if I'm boring. <laughs>